Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the best builds for Abathur. The information will be valid until the next major patch, so as of the 15th of April 2015. Statistically, Abathur is doing mediocre, currently on a 47.6% win rate, so just below the 50% mark. Regardless of this win rate, don't let it deter you if you are an avid Abathur player. Right now, the most successful build, which I call the Symbiote build, is the following. Pressurized glands, Adrenaline Overload, Needle Spine, Evolve Monstrosity, Spatical Efficiency, Adrenaline Boost, and Hive Mind. This build has a 83.3% win rate at this time. This is the build I use most of the time. The strategy follows the basic guidelines of playing Abathur, pretty much pushing a lane with the least attention with locusts while being somewhere safe, placing mines across the map to damage, reveal enemy locations and gather information, and make the most of your symbiote buffing as, as much as you can in the build. Essentially, always helping your allies in team fights or any sort of encounter whenever there's a big team fight or major objective or some sort of good distraction, use your monstrosity to push the lane farthest away from the distraction. There is no need to control it, just summon it and it will help your team win the team fight simultaneously by using your symbiote and applying a lot of pressure on the lane that they are not attending to. This build I think is overall the best with many skill weakness and best potential. Keep in mind playing Abathur requires extremely good map awareness, so keep practicing. Another build I sometimes use which is becoming very popular in quick matches, which is what I call the Surprise Locust build. This build consists of Survival Instincts, Ballisto Spores, Call Down Mule, Evolve Monstrosity, Bombardment Strain, Locust Brood, and Locust Nest. This build I find is a very high risk, high reward. The general idea is to hold off the enemy team until late game, keeping your structures up with the mule and to help survive until the late game. Until around level 16, you'll be mostly helping your team and defending buildings with symbiotes. At level 16, you'll have your perfect locusts. Using the Ballisto Spores uh, talent, granting you global range on your mines, you will be able to place a mine behind enemy lines just out of fort's range near the enemy's core. Abathur will then borrow there, spawn his locusts, and hearth back quickly. The ranged locusts will do massive structure damage and outrange the fort. Abathur will repeat this process until either one of two of the inner forts have been destroyed. Then we'll move on to the core and very quickly destroy it. You will mainly be doing this when the enemy team is distracted and are not about to respawn. This build and strategy, like I said, are high risk and high reward. It relies heavily on your team holding their own pretty well and making it to the late game. It also relies on hoping the enemy team has really bad map awareness. This strategy is very popular in quick matches. It alone can win a game, but I would never ever recommend this build for competitive play. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, there is no one build that will win them all. I always advise you to be creative and make your own build that works for you. If you want more information on heroes and even your own MMR, go to hotslogs.com. This is a very good website, and I highly recommend it. We will see you next time.